We are going to see today about uh, the presentation on the sermon topic uh, by grace, uh, salvation by faith. Yes. Salvation by faith. Uh, our uh, Professor Park said uh, John Wesley preached uh, more than five times this sermon. In every book, this sermon is found in a uh, uh, first page or it is in a first chapter. Even I am also John Wesley want to preach on same topic, mm -hmm. salvation by faith. Yeah. Uh, we can see this Bible goes in uh, Ephesians 2 chapter 8. For it is by grace you have been saved and not by yourself the gift of God. It is in NIV translation. And uh, what John Wesley says about uh, faith uh, we may have a different understanding about the faith. I may have different understanding. Uh, William may have different understanding. Bishop Caleb may have different understanding. Uh, but Kore Korean friends might have different understanding. But uh, here we are going to see what is the understanding of faith uh, in the eyes of uh, John Wesley. Mm. John Wesley, understanding of faith is like this. Faith means Wesleyan's. Uh, believe in one God who is Father, Son and the Holy Spirit, the Savior person who put the faith in him alone for eternal life. And uh, his understanding of salvation is, he defines as salvation as not merely deliverance from hell or going to hell, but uh, the present deliverance from sin. That is very important. He talks uh, the, uh, the topic salvation. And uh, he says that uh, it is the present deliverance from the sin. And uh, he keeps on talking about uh, favor. He keeps on talking about uh, favor. Uh, in his sermon, he, he insisted this word favor uh, many times because uh, we need God's favor in our life to get the salvation. Yes. All the blessings which God has bestowed upon man Upon man or his merry grace, bounty of favor, is undeserved favor. He is using this word again and again in his book. I have uh, cross-checked, I have read this book, I have cross-checked with several other uh, uh, sermons where he has preached. Uh, uh, when I have gone through, he is uh, using this word again and again, uh, that is undeserved favor. Favor altogether, bounty of favor. Uh, it is very clear that uh, he has mentioned uh, a very important word in favor that is uh, formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into him a living soul. He is telling to us that uh, we are all from the dust, we are all from the ground, you know, and we found this favor from the God. And we found this favor from the God. And secondly, uh, Wesley speaks about uh, God's unspeakable gift. God's unspeakable gift he is talking of. Uh, in this unspeakable gift, he is insisting one word. Whatever righteousness may be found in man, this is also the gift of God. If you found something righteous in you, he says, uh, that's a gift of God you have. That's a gift of God you have. Uh, the very powerful statement uh, in the unspeakable gift he is telling is if the sinful minds, uh, sinful men find favor with God, it is grace upon grace. He says very clearly, it is grace upon grace. If God grants to pour fresh blessings upon us, it is the grace of all blessings. Thanks be unto God for his unspeakable gift. He is quoting this word. Thanks to God for his unspeakable gift. It is love of God that made worthy. It is not by our work or deed. It is by his grace and grace alone and through faith. And the very powerful statement, the very powerful statement uh, Wesley has said uh, in this sermon is Grace is the sources and faith the condition of salvation. Mm -hmm. Amen. 
ஒன்லிங் but he says that faith you need to get the salvation yes and uh, that's he speaks in this uh, unspeakable gift mm-hmm. and next uh, he talks of a very important topic in this sermon as we as we seen in the uh, in the first he talks of the favor second he he has spoken about the unspeakable uh, gift god's unspeakable gift a uh, third thing he speak uh, a very important thing uh, in his sermon that is uh, saved by grace saved by grace god commander is love to us in that while we were yet sinners christ died to save us mm-hmm. amen amen, amen. 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 he has uh, given this very powerful statement god commander is love towards us in that while we were yet sinners christ died to save us and he is quoting that he is quoting that and i have also quoted that by grace we are saved through the grace is the source faith the condition of salvation wesley in his essence preaches uh, uh, what is faith that saves it is the faith in christ that saves so when he talks about the grace he talks about grace of god and uh, in the crucial or in the nutshell when he uh, see the essence of his preaching uh, when he uh, says what is faith that saves it is faith that the christ saves us mm. you know the faith with in the christ that saves us amen mm-hmm. and next to very important uh, topic uh, or the uh, focus which he has given uh, in the sermon says uh, once you born again don't sin again It's very <laughs> powerful and dangerous very statement. Powerful. You know, very dangerous statement also. <laughs> Because uh, we live in a world where every day we do one or other sin. Uh, knowingly or unknowingly. Unknowingly or unknowingly, our bishop said correctly. Uh, in Korea, um, <coughs> it's a very small country. I think the total population is 8 crores. 5 crores. 5 crores. but uh, i from the i come from the country where the population is 140 crores <laughs> many many times it is uh, how many times maybe 30 40 times it is higher 140 yeah, crores uh, i come from a state tamil nadu where the population is more than 8 crores and uh, if you see uttar pradesh state which is dominated by the hindus they have the population of 25 crores mm-hmm. and uh, wherever we go you will find only people 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wherever you go only you will you will hear noise oh. and yesterday my friend uh, uh, park sir and others they took me with lot of patience <laughs> <laughs> after we got delayed for 20 minutes they waited patiently and took us there were pin drop silence everywhere i was so amazed to see that people are very quiet very calm but in my country <laughs> everywhere noise noise <laughs> everywhere there was shouting you know everywhere there is horn also pan pan gang gang like that you know? <laughs> but here i didn't see any noise <laughs> very peaceful very quiet country uh, what i want to say here is we come from the country where if you pray to god morning four hours and if you go i don't want to do sin by the time you step out from the door you will fall into sin <laughs> you know when we go in car someone will voluntarily hit and he will speak very bad bad word and we will get angry and we will scold him or else in india it is very famous uh the movies we call it a cinema here movies 
Yeah, everywhere you will find a very vulgar posters. <laughs> very vulgar, vulgar posters. You know, sometimes they don't leave even the religious place also. <laughs> they will post outside that. So, we tend to see all that. You know, we tend to speak angrily words. As uh, our Bishop Caleb also said, in Indian con contest, Christians are unholy <laughs> by the so-called uh, upper caste Hindus. Even after our 75 years of independence, we are very ashamed to say, even in some villages, Christians, minorities are not allowed to sit with the Hindus. They are not allowed to drink water, eat together, sit like this in one classroom. That is the condition. But here, Wesley talks, once you born again, don't do sin again, yeah. which is not possible. <laughs> but uh, we have to listen to this uh, preaching. He is telling that what is salvation that comes through faith? He says it is present saving from the sin. When he talks about the sin, I love this uh, word. When he talks about the sin, he has not said the word sin alone, but he went very deeply. And he elaborated what sin it is. He has given the definition. He has said original and actual sin, past and present sin, and guilt. If you're doing something, if you have a guilt that I have done something to that person, I hurted him or I hurted her, uh, it is my mistake, I have cheated her. He says that is also a sin. And he is saying very clearly, leading to the new birth where he is, who is born again, should not sin again. So I partially agree to this, not fully. So he says very clearly, every good thing we received from God are freely given by God and undeserved. Amen. 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 Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. He says very clearly that uh, every good thing what we receive from God are freely given by God. So when I read this statement, a very powerful statement, uh, when I read this, uh, it came in my mind, whatever we are getting from God, we are not paying any paytm or <laughs> we are not giving any money transaction to God. He is giving us everything freely. Mm -hmm. The air we breathe, the water we use, we pay to government, but not to God. So he says, whatever the blessings we are getting in life, whatever uh, prosperity or whatever life we are living today, it is because of God's grace and God's, God has given us freely. Amen. And he says, uh, it's a... Uh, we are undeserved for that, but God makes us worthy to utilize all that. And uh, next uh, very powerful thing, what uh, Wesley talks about is, uh, what is the faith through which we are saved? So, <clears throat> when, I when I gone through, I read some four to five times, I didn't understand what this man is trying to tell. <laughs> so, I just uh, read again and again, because uh, our English today, it's a very modern English. We follow American and British English. But he is following a very different English. <laughs> so, very difficult to understand also. Uh, right? And we live in a generation where we don't read books now. Even in my personal library, in my office, I have more than four, five hundred books. Every day my housekeeping staff will dust and keep, but we don't read any books. It's only became fashion now. But uh, we go by listening, right? We use a lot of listening. We go for podcasts, we go for YouTubes. If you want to know something, we just we, we are not now uh, trying to Google and read that. We try to go to YouTube and we try to listen. We live in such a world. So I also try to understand what he want to say in this paragraph. So later I understood that he tried to say this uh, uh, five point. That is, what is the faith through which we are saved? He is telling, it is not barely the faith of Ethan. It is not the faith of the devil. It is not the faith that apostles had while Christ was on the earth. He is telling, when he talks about the faith through salvation, he says, it is the faith through Christ to be our faith. Amen. 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 He says, it is the faith through Christ to be our Amen. saved. 
secondly he says it is because of his death and resurrection we are saved amen it's a very powerful statement oh, yeah. if christ died and he has not rose again mm. you and me we would not be here god has resurrected he has not only died to give us the salvation but he resurrected on the third day and he gives this two powerful statements it's not because of heath and devil or it's not because of the earthly apostle he says it is because of christ who saved us and he says it is because of christ death and the resurrection and uh, secondly when he talks about uh, salvation by faith i want to put it in a very natural or i want to put it in a very uh, in a very uh, closed summary manner where we can understand what he want to say in this sermon completely john wesley constantly argues that salvation must produce holiness of heart and mind <coughs> that is his statement yeah he keeps on says in his sermon whenever he preaches on faith whenever he preaches on salvation and when he preached the sermon on faith in justification also he is insisting very clearly that uh, salvation must produce holiness of heart and life if you don't have the holiness in heart and if you have if you don't have holiness in uh, life then there is no meaning of salvation that's what he mean to say salvation by faith is trust and confidence in the work of jesus christ to forgive us and reconcile us to god and enable our growth in righteousness and true holiness uh you are saved from sin from the guilt and the power of it first from the guilt of all past sins they are saved from fear of breath of god and of falling away from the grace of god he says very clearly that first we are being saved from the past sins and the guilt and secondly he says very clearly that we are saved from fear of breath of god and falling away from the grace of god mm-hmm. that has given us a hope amen that has given us a faith yeah. that we have a great and bright true future mm-hmm. that's what uh, he is talking about in the salvation once you have got the salvation you have a new hope and faith that you will not be subject to the you, you will not be subject to the sin or you will not have any fear in your heart that's what he is meaning to say that and uh, i have two questions uh, when i read and when i uh, meditated this topic these two questions came in my mind i want to put this questions to the floor to my uh, friends from uh, <coughs> mosambi nepal usa and uh, my korean friends question is is salvation by faith alone or is salvation by faith plus work right in tamil they say kriya illada viswas in my language means faith has to go with work James. suppose uh, James. James. yeah James. James. suppose i say that i am going to build a church which is cost of 10 crores a multi story building with multiple facilities where people can sit up uh, we can accommodate up 2000 people and i have that faith and if i am not working and if i am not putting my hard work and if i am sitting in my home lazy having cup of tea and drinking <laughs> some soups and sleeping it cannot material so we have to put our hard work and we have to put our uh, work uh, we have to put our effort into that faith and second one is is it through baptism you are saved or through faith you are saved so i think uh, uh, we have to answer to this question uh, we are saved through baptism or through faith because we come from a culture uh, we from come from a country where now baptism if you give to a person we have to get a declaration from the district government office that i am changing my religion and uh, if that person says that william has converted me i got converted because of that government will put me 10 years in jail 
they so, will kill me. Yeah, they will kill you. <laughs> also, why? Because this baptism has become uh, top and the point of conversion mm -hmm. in India. So many Christians, they have a Hindu name, Kamachi Minachi like that, but they don't convert. They don't uh, uh, go to the temples, but they converted in heart. Yes, conversion is heart is important. Change of heart is more important than the change of religion. So still there are many having their own traditional Hindu names, but in heart they changed, in heart they pray to God, even they speak in tongues, even they give powerful sermons more than pastors, without baptism. <laughs> so in a country like India, whether it is applicable or not, we have to think. So, because we always preach that if you want to go to heaven, baptism is important. Yeah, I too agree that. I am not talking against the doctrine. I too agree that. But what I mean to say is, what I mean to say is, conversion in heart is very important. Change of heart is very important. Yes. Yeah. Many people they take immersion and sprinkle baptism, but they never change in heart. They never go to church also. So what I mean to say is, baptism is very important, but before going for a water baptism, your heart should change. Yeah. Then only you will experience the real, real salvation in heart. Hallelujah. Yeah. Thank you for this opportunity. Do you have any questions or comments? Oh, oh, oh. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. You talked about when we are saved like this, we get hope and we get faith. Could you add love? Yes, you can add. Okay. Love. You can add uh, fruits of the spirit also. <laughs> and then, in keeping with means of grace, could you allow that salvation is by faith? But when I am saved, then I exercise means of grace. And maybe that's where we get the idea of works. Mm, yeah. Because uh, if I keep on saying that uh, I have faith, I have faith, and uh, I have faith, and if you keep on uh, meditating or speaking that word without action, mm -hmm. it is not coming to effect. It's not coming into the material estate. If you want to see a really work done, we have to put our effort and we have to put our hard work to see that the things are coming up. And God doesn't <laughs> love lazy people, right? We have faith. Along with faith, we should have prayer. Along with prayer, we should have God's favor. Along with God's favor, we should have God's grace. We cannot do things alone. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your powerful presentation. <laughs> and um, I already mentioned about the sermon in the, the class, but you uh, made a detail of your presentation. Thank you. Um, and then. It's very powerful because yeah. uh, if you say it, uh, you don't commit to sin anymore. So <laughs> uh, that makes uh, uh, makes us uh, some uh, confusion because we know ourselves already. So we have uh, some kind of uh, assurance of the salvation, but we are still in some middle of not the all the, at the same time, same meaning of the people we uh, saved, but we also have uh, some kind of. Uh, settings or some uh, uh, this kind of uh, the, uh, the around the same things the relation the, the, the provoking uh, everything around uh, our ordinary life uh, you got the point and then also generously using the the, the opposite force the, the, the faith 
important. This is very important. So phase is uh, the only condition for the salvation. But uh, what is phase must uh, working mm -hmm. by love? This work phase working by love uh, is is a opposite form as uh, uh, talking about in the uh, Philippians. So uh, this phase is still. Need to to, you know, to grow the bigger and bigger, and bigger and higher and higher uh, with the, the love, love God and love neighbors. So it's a good point. Oh, oh, why I have a break? Uh, uh, you know, I'm talking about the, the uh, about enthusiasm. Yes, enthus. John Wesley the study on the, the word, the Greek word. Enthusiasm is a negative meaning, but in his study, in truth means in God. You know, I mean God. It's not a negative meaning, it's a positive meaning. So, uh, John Wesley said, real in truth in God is good. So, what, what's the problem in this enthusiasm means? So, okay, I'm enthusiast in this meaning. Uh, so, also, uh, like I said, uh, the chargers. Using this enthusiasm uh, problem because uh, they think we are in God, but they really is not. It's a, they are imaginary. So uh, John Wesley uh, making a uh, attack uh, against uh, the chargers. They are they have a problem. They think they are Christian, but they are not in God really. That, that, that's the point. So mm -hmm. I just made it clear. Okay. Uh, maybe we have a uh, lunch and then get back at one o'clock. It's gonna be a last clip. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah.